Sign of Torment. Uh, WAD by Kane D, who's completed 11 maps, one episode, called Above Hell Itself. Let's take a look at map 4. Which is, uh, 286, wow, 286, 207, and 22 secrets. This is Legacy of Blood. Well, early in this map set, I was impressed, I was happy, I was excited. The last map, I really did not enjoy. I like how he does stuff like this. But sometimes it just... In the previous map, there was a whole maze out of stuff like this that I really was not feeling. So there's my exit, that's cool. What's this called? Legacy of Blood. Open the door. Found some nibs. I'm already nervous about this. I think I already experienced the silent teleporter trick. At least one, <laughs> maybe more. Yep, see that one just loops me right back to where I was. That was a secret. So yeah, this stuff, this is just annoying to me. There's too much guesswork, just, just let me get on my way, you know? That's how I feel about it. Some may really like this kind of stuff, but I don't. Just let me get out of my way. Alright. So. This one I think leads to the switch. Nope, it doesn't. This is back to the beginning. That's what I need. Okay. You do not belong to hell. Yeah, I'd say the first map is pretty misleading. <laughs> Not at all like the map one and two. Not at all like three and four. Oh, uh, this seems a little more normal-ish. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through that again. We're about to wreck All right, chainsaw probably better. And I'm still resurrecting. I forgot there's a bunch of shells back in here. Oh, but I can't go. Okay. Alright. saving or stop dying. So I'm not gonna redo any of this map, I can tell you that. Ah, 
I guess I'll just keep resurrecting. Dead ends over here, basically. Look at that. Wow. Oh, you can actually get up there. How cool is that? Oh, not the zombie men. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I like this attention to detail. A lot of players will just make this whole thing one color. But no. Because there's different crates underneath here. Some of these crates underneath here are tan crates. Or brown crates. So there you have it. sure there's anything up there anyway. No. Short-lived ride up there. I don't think you get anything out of that. Yeah, other chain gunner somewhere. Pretty cool stuff. It's always got to be a crate maze, right? I think I can make it over to that health. Yeah. <laughs> I even get a secret for it. Two of the twenty-two now. This is going to be bad. I've not found many secrets in this whole wad. It's such a big area. So much to explore. So yeah, to me this is a lot more fun than trying to make sense out of mazes and silent teleporter tricks. Okay, white and black for in there. Good to know. I think there's one more door right here.
Am I done? We'll save it there. Okay. I just saved it. Alright, so it looks like two doors. No telling which one should go in first, so let's pick one. Ooh. Nice use of uh, silent monsters. Uh, not silent, um, non death monsters. Roamers. Oh my, that's a lot of imps. Down the hall. Yeah, multiple keys, name of the game, or multiple uses of the same key. That one doesn't seem anywhere near some of these other white ones. There's red. Oh gosh. There's a few wads I'm currently playing that just don't have any interest in giving you good weaponry, it seems like. I don't really understand why. Like it's bad enough chain gunning all these demons. You don't want to do it to Barons. That's red anyway. I was mesmerized by that tiny little hole over there. Oh, I get it. They're just false walls all the way through. But yeah, I mean, where's my ammo? Where's the rocket launcher or something? I guess I gotta go back and go the other way. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Sure. Can I go back there though? No. Alright, well I got the black key, so. Oh. Oh! I wasn't paying attention, so I died. Carry on with nine shells. I gotta get some ammo before I continue here. Oops, forgot to shoot it. Oh well. All right, black key was. There, yeah. I think they just teleported right on in or something. Nothing opened up. Found the secret section. Good for me. Anything good over here? No. <laughs> Nothing even over here.
Uh, that's unfortunate. Seriously. Oh, the ammo. over here. Just carry on. Yeah, a lot of camp friendly action. Low low health, low armor, high hit scan, high corners. And no big weapons. There's moments where I save because I don't want to do it again because it's boring. And obviously because I'm very low on health, but... Yeah. Gotta aim better than that. Oh yeah, there's still a sergeant. That's actually the exit, I'm perfectly fine with that. Oh yeah, I gotta stop forgetting about him. Oh, two of them. So I think it is the exit, but red door. Okay. Gotta stop saving with three health. So I don't think... Yeah. Now we're back to this. Um... So besides that beginning area, I haven't really minded the layout of this map and the shenanigans. They haven't been very extreme. I, I do mind the equipment though. I mean, look at me. I've got 50 shells and 50 bullets. This again.
And I don't want to discourage Kane D. I think that this is uh I think this is the kind of gameplay that people enjoy a lot. I think. Oh my. Yeah. I think if this thing gets properly finished and properly released, it'll be a very acclaimed map set. Don't think it's going to be one that I will enjoy. Um, but part of that, so I mean. Yeah, a lot of it is highly subjective. At the end of the day, it's all subjective. But, um... I think one thing that has to happen is better equipment for Doom Guy here. You can't go through a map like this without a super shotgun. Or without a rocket launcher, plasma gun, something. Okay. Where's an area I missed? Oh no, I can't get in there. Hmm. Right. So I those would be crushers or something. I got, got a text message here. Oh. Um, crap, I saved way back here. Okay. That's okay. That's okay because, um, I'm just gonna take the other path here and carry on. This way, right? Uh, this way. Yeah, that's where I was anyway. Yeah, this seems to be more puzzle shenanigans. I doubt it's as simple as hitting all 30 of these switches or whatever. But it might be. I don't think I have been over here. I mean, I'd love to explore a layout like this, but I'm just not going to do it with shotgun chain gun. Just not going to happen. Yeah. So, there's like tons of red keys though, this thing, but this one's the exit, so. Crap, I need the card! Uh, Alright, fine. Oh. Okay. 
Oh, that's how you get in here. That's white. I'm nowhere near red. Oh, yes, I am. Perfect. See, I just don't want to. Just don't want to do it. Got no shell, uh, no bullets. Got no, uh. No hefty weaponry. Oh, I saw a switch. Not a switch. There's two ways into here, huh? For a second. Yeah, figured it wouldn't be on the map. <laughs> Worth a shot, though. Hmm. Not sure what I'm looking for over here. That's where I came from. Oh, here we go. Does that mean I can exit? Hope so. But first, more revenants. Well, this is going way downhill for me, this wad. Um, and it's a combination of things. And I'd say it's about 20%. I just don't like the style of maze-ishness. Maybe not even 20, maybe only 15%. In this map, the previous map, there was more of that that was annoying to me. But in this map, it was a lot more about, I just had no desire to do the combat, none whatsoever. And it was simply because the map refused to give me any sufficient weaponry. I, I realize I got very few, what did I get, 4 out of 22 probably? So, very, very few secrets. Um, or maybe only 3 actually. And so, maybe I don't know, maybe there's stuff in the secrets, but I think a map should be fun to play without getting any secrets, and not just a grind fest. I do not want to shotgun 5 barons in a room. I will not do that ever. So, um, it just becomes a matter of run to the exit, do the little mazes and stuff, and it's a fun layout, it's, it's actually a really cool layout. But this is one of those maps where I would have had a lot more fun if it had no monsters at all. And I don't think that's really a good thing to say that, I mean, it's, it, it, if you can have fun in a map with no monsters, which I think this one would be, it's kind of a cool maze adventure type map. But in my mind, there's just no question whatsoever. There needs to be a rocket launcher, 
probably a plasma gun and a super shock. All of them. All of them. I mean, you've got so many monsters that aren't going to fall in one or two shotgun shots. So what are we, what are we doing here? Um, it just slows the pace down way too much to have to shotgun and chain gun all these enemies. So it's ruining the wad, frankly. Um, I mean, this is innovative stuff. This is exciting, intriguing. Whether I like it or not, in the previous map, I did not like the the maze, funky weirdness aspects of it. This map, I I did like the overall layout and stuff, except that very beginning part where you had some more of that teleport trick stuff. Um, but it's you know it's the it's the action itself. It's the it's the shooting chain gun at revenants and cacodemons and barons constantly that I can't stand and and this is this is how I'm going to play these maps if this is how they're going to continue to be is is how it's, what it's going to boil down to um, but I'm excited to see the layouts and the progressions and stuff because it seems like there's a new idea every time with K&D and and, um, and you know what we saw in map 1 is long gone and the only thing that remains is the fact that we've got these multi-use keys and different color keys and stuff but uh, as far as as far as uh, the conventional gameplay of map one that's that's long gone and that's fine but if I don't see an abundance of rockets and plasma and super shotgun soon this is what the stats are going to continue to look like 64 or less probably percent kills Luckily, I think this, these are fairly easy fixes. You know, sprinkle some rockets and rocket launchers throughout these maps, and, and it instantly goes from a 3 out of 10 to a 7 or 8 out of 10. It's that simple, really, for me. All right, well, that's map 4.